Mm. Hey, boss. What's wrong? This rectangle is connected to multiplication somehow. But I don't see it. I know multiplication is like equal groups or something. Well, let's start with the number of rows and columns. I'll count the rows. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. We have five rows or groups. Now we just need to count the columns. Step back, bro. I got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Bro, there's sixteen columns. So we have five rows of sixteen. That's five times sixteen. Nice. So now to find the product, we just count all of the squares. Yes, but no. Mm. We have five rows of the number 16, so we're solving five times 16. Of course, we know this already. However, comma, we can decompose 16 to help us find the partial products. Deku, pose? <laughs> no, decompose. It means to break down into smaller parts. So you're suggesting that we decompose or break down the number 16? Exactly. If we decompose the 16, it will be much easier to multiply. What should we decompose 16 into? 8 plus 8? We could, but I like to decompose by place value. Okay then. 16 is equal to 110 and 6 ones. So, 10 plus 6? Bingo! We rewrote 16 as 10 plus 6. We still have five rows of 16. Okay, but how is this any better? Let's focus on one section at a time. This yellow section has five rows of 10. We already know that five times 10 equals 50, which means there are 50 squares in the yellow section. Oh, 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 I get it. And I know how to solve for the other section. Go ahead and flex, bro. There are five rows of six. We know that five times six equals 30. That means there are 30 squares in the blue section. Oh. Okay, but now what? Well, remember, the whole model represents five times 16. We still have five rows of 16. Now, we just need to find the total number of squares. All right, so we could just add the two products together. Yeah, but these are called partial products. Wait, what? We call them partial products because they're only part of the whole product that we're solving for. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. I didn't make up the phrase, but thanks. So we're adding 50 plus 30? That's 80. Bingo! 5 times 16 equals 80. So let me get this straight. Instead of multiplying 5 times 16, we simply solve 5 times 10 plus 5 times 6. I'd say that just about sums it up. <laughs> you know, sum, because you found the sum of the partial products. Just fine, I get it. 